what set him off. Tonight, we're learning dark new details of a killing spree that left four dead before the man who pulled the trigger turned the gun on himself. We're also learning more about the four lives tragically lost on Detroit's west side. Police say George Anthony Davis Jr. killed three people at a gas station on Detroit's west side, another at a nearby home, and then took his own life in a shootout with police in northern Ohio. Let's get to Priya Mann. She is live tonight. Priya, one of the victims, Kristen Thomas, just happened to ask for a ride Monday morning, we understand. Yeah, that's right. Kristen works at McDonald's. When she saw the deacon and his daughter drive by, she stopped them and she asked for a ride. And it was a tragic twist of fate. Kristen and Sierra shot in the vehicle. Sierra's dad shot while pumping gas. The gunman would later turn the gun on himself. And these families say they will never get justice. They were just really good people. They really did not deserve this. Tarina Bargainer lost her father and sister on Monday in a horrific shooting at a gas station on the west side. It was just horrible to see something like this. You know, your cousin's laying on the ground there because somebody chose to get Senseless. a gun to shoot somebody. Senseless. Her sister, 23-year-old Sierra, was a focused young woman who was always working. But her greatest achievement came two months ago a healthy baby boy. She was so excited. I just can't wait till he get here. I can't wait till he get here rubbing her belly. Police say the infant's father, George Anthony Davis Jr., shot Sierra, her father, and another woman at a Sunoco gas station at Fenkel and Beaverland. 60-year-old Raphael Hall was pumping gas when he was fatally shot. Hall was a popular deacon at Citadel of Praise in Detroit. A man of God, this was never far from reach. He lived, breathed, eat, slept. God's word. These are church yes. people. These are people that, you know, love life. The family says Davis was never violent and there had never been any signs of domestic abuse. He shot and killed the mother of his child while she was sitting in her vehicle. How couldn't you have understood where you were taken away from us? She didn't get to say goodbye. She didn't even get to say I love you that morning. This heartbroken mother lives a street away from the Bargainer family. She goes to the same church where Hall is a deacon. Her daughter, Kristen Thomas, happened to be in the car with Sierra. She didn't know him. She didn't even know what was happening. Saprina Thomas says her daughter was running late yesterday, and when the 21-year-old saw Deacon Hall, she asked for a ride to work. We talked about her plans for her future, and the devil snuffed it right out from up under her. And Thomas says she is so angry, angry that she'll never see her daughter again, angry that their families will never get justice. Now, after killing three people, Davis then went to his cousin's home nearby, shot him, then fled to Ohio, where he killed himself. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Priya, I understand there is a tribute planned for tonight. Yeah, there is a growing memorial plan tonight, a candlelight vigil. They'll also release balloons. It's meant as a way for this community to start the healing process when there are so many questions. That candlelight vigil tonight at 7 p.m. Local 4 will be there. And obviously our thoughts are with the family. Thank you, Priya.